the prophet Yechezkel, Ezekiel, chapter 9. Then he cried loudly right in my ears, Summon the commanders of the city, each holding his weapon of destruction. At once six men approached on the path from the upper gate to the north, each man holding his weapon of destruction. Among them was a man clothed in linen, with a scribe's writing equipment at his waist. They entered and stood by the bronze altar. Then the glory of the God of Israel was made to go up from over the Karuv, where it had been, to the threshold of the house. He called to the man clothed in linen, who had the scribe's writing equipment at his waist. Adonai said to him, Go throughout the city, throughout, through all Yerushalayim, and put a mark on the foreheads of the men who are sighing and crying over all the disgusting practices that are being committed in it. To the others I heard him say, Go through the city after him and strike. Don't let your eyes spare. Have no pity. Kill old men, young men, girls, little children, women. Slaughter them all. But don't go near anyone with the mark. Begin at my sanctuary. They began with the leaders in front of the house. Then he said to them, Defile the house. Fill the courtyards with corpses. Get going. So they went out, spreading death in the city. While, killing, while the killing was going on, I was left alone. I fell on my face, cried, and said, O oh Adonai Elohim, and pouring out your fury on Yerushalayim, are you going to destroy everyone left in Israel? Then he said to me, The wickedness of the house of Israel and Yehuda is enormous. The land is full of blood, and the city is full of justice denied. Because they say, Adonai has left the land, Adonai doesn't see. But as far as I am concerned, my eye will not spare, and I will have no pity, but I will bring the consequences of their ways on their own heads. At this point, the man clothed in linen with the writing equipment at his waist returned and reported, I have done everything you ordered me to do. End of Ezekiel chapter 9